like wind in our sails. Hello everyone, this is Carla. Hola. I'm Sam and this is our new channel. So welcome if you've not been here before. Um, I guess you won't have done because it's new. <laughs> but yeah. What What's it called? It? I totally <laughs> forgot what it's called. Yeah, it's called Van Life Crisis, right? Because we're having a bit of a midlife crisis. Yeah. Does it need explaining? We're getting is on the, a bit. Is the joke, or is the joke there? Because it's meant to be. I'm pretty It's pretty self explanatory, yeah. I think. So, anyway, this is our new channel, Van Life Crisis, where we're going to take you through our van build from start to finish, which is a VW T6 Highline 150 brake horsepower, long wheelbase, beige transporter. Isn't it? That's bad, T6. Isn't it? T6, I said that. Did you? Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, this is our first video. We're going to go through five reasons why we decided to choose this particular van and all the other options that we decided on. And why we chose this why, one, basically. basically, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Forgotten where we are. <laughs> yeah. I forgot where we are. Derbyshire. Something pit. Oh, we're terrible at this. Oh. It's on that picture. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hello, anyway. Where are we? We're at the Five Pits Trail. Which is, where is it? Derbyshire. Yeah, it's like Derbyshire, it's just south, just south of Sheffield, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere south in between Northampton and Harrogate. Somewhere in between Harrogate. Northampton <laughs> and Harrogate, yeah. So we just finished the Camp Quirky Festival. <laughs> which was cracking. I thought you were going to say which was crap. <laughs> no, it's cracking. Oh, we saw Camper Vibe and loads of other people. I wanted to go and say hello to Louise and Emily, but he won't let me. <laughs> Russell Brand. Russell Brand, oh god, yeah, Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare. So I had this big camera like, in my hand, pointing to the floor, and um, I'm just walking past, and I spot Russell Brand just there, just hanging out with his kids and I tap Carla and go, Carla, Carla, Russell Brand. And then um, as he walks past me, he goes, don't take, don't take pictures of people without their permission. It's a bit rude. I was like, I don't even have my camera pointed at you, mate. It's on the floor. It is so, a pretty big camera though. Yeah, but it was pointing he, to the floor. He might have thought you were slyly. And I would never like, take his picture. Yeah, but I would never just take someone's picture without them, you know, without their permission anyway. Or well, if I did, it'd be very sly. <laughs> uh, you do with me. <laughs> well, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, I thought it was a bit rude. So a video we've been trying to do for a while now, which is five reasons why we decided to choose the VW T6 transporter that we brought, which was a panel van, um, which we're going to convert into a camper at some stage, if we ever get around to it. Um, so reason number one, what is it? Long wheelbase. Yeah, so we picked it because it's a long wheelbase. Um, I didn't want anything bigger than a T6 anyway because I didn't want to drive anything big but I didn't want it to be too small either so we went for the long wheelbase which is a bit of a compromise it's 40, 40 centimetres longer than a normal short wheelbase but it's fine in it, gives you the extra room yeah. and it's not much really to contend with in car parks or anything like that it's alright, so yeah that's reason number one it's still good height wise as well, it's no taller so it's not hard to get under the bridges yeah, so it's the same height, we haven't added anything extra. Although we have added a pop top, which we tried to do a video of getting ready for that, but that didn't go to plan, did it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's Nothing beside the point. To plan. <laughs> reason number two is. What's reason number two? Did we even plan this? Economy. Oh yeah, so we wanted a T6 rather than like a T5 or anything like that, anything older. Um, not because we're rich, because we're really not. But we wanted it to be EU6 or Euro6, which means that um, all these congestion zones that are coming into play. Low emissions. And low emission zones or whatever, yeah, low emissions, not congestion. Oh, is it a bit of both, isn't it? I have no oh, idea. Oh no, low emissions. <laughs> U-L-E-Z, anyway, zones that are coming into play all over. Ultra low emission zones. Yeah, that's it, yeah. All over the UK, um, they've been a bit of a pain in the ass, especially with diesel. So you have to pay to use your vehicle, or you can't use your vehicle if it doesn't pass these basic requirements. So anyway, yeah. So this T6 is like the one of the earliest EU Euro 6 models. So that's reason number two. We wanted this to be Euro 6, so it's a bit more future-proof. Oh, my arms aching. <laughs> <laughs> How do vloggers do this? 
I don't know, Casey Neistat did this for like a, a year. Yeah, but he didn't do full on. It was all clips, wasn't it? Well, yeah, and he set it down and then he walked over to the camera, which we might do instead. So for reason number three, we'll see you in a minute. Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us If we just hold on tight This vision that I saw Is getting closer every dawn Ooh. So we're like 1.3 kilometers into the walk and um, we've had to stop because Carla's gone for a wee. <laughs> Should we see if we can find her? Have you done it? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> that was quick. When nature calls. <laughs> <laughs> so reason number three was, oh yeah, we went for the larger engine size, so 150 brake horsepower as opposed to the 110. So it's got six gears. And we didn't go for the DSG because they're too expensive. I didn't want an automatic. Well, I wouldn't have minded, but six speed manual 150 brake horsepower is reason number three. I think we're used be... to manual, aren't we? So. Yeah, we're not American, so we can drive <laughs> stick. <laughs> um, we don't get confused um, with our left foot and the clutch. But anyway, so yeah, 150 brake horsepower. I think it's better fuel economy for six, having six gears. That's my reasoning. He's obsessed. Well, yeah, so with far fuel it's doing, <laughs> So far, it's doing great with fuel economy. Like it's brilliant. I think. Yeah, yeah it's doing well so far. A full tank of petrol, you probably get about 700 miles. Something like that. Pretty decent. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's reason number three. We are dreamers of the... Vagina tree. Reason number four. We're still on reason number four, aren't we? I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's nature, that's not me. Right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So... <laughs> Reason number four. Um, yeah, get, van. yeah, so they're not in any particular order. Um, we're just doing them as we go along, so we're just making them up. Um, <laughs> so yeah, reason number four is a panel van. We went for a panel van, so it's a blank canvas as opposed to like a combi or even a Cravel or whatever they are, Caravel or whatever they are, that come with like seats already in there, maybe windows already in there. We've decided to go with a solid panel van, so it's blank canvas, so that we can completely gut it do it exactly how we yeah, want Yeah, we can insulate it the way we want it, we can make sure it's sound editing the way we want it, we can do everything. Because I think with a combi and a caravel, you'll end up just ripping everything out and starting more again work anyway. It's more it's work worth, than it's yeah. worth, so... And panel van vans are cheaper. Panel van is forward if you want to do it all yourself. And yeah, and panel vans are cheaper. So yeah, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> to start off with. And yeah, we can make it what we want, so yeah, that's reason number four. Panel van, as opposed to anything else. Anyway, check out this view. Lovely. Sure. <laughs> Seven years now on this boat and we all know where we belong, just wait. Ooh. Wait for our home to show on the horizon soon. Sorry, we got distracted because people were coming and we don't want to vlog in public. <laughs> not yet anyway. So yeah, reason number five, not necessarily the actual reason, but it's part of the reason, if that makes sense. It's what you were looking for when you were looking at bags yeah. and what you wanted. And yeah, so we wanted air conditioning. That, that was the main priority, wasn't it? Um, for if we go to Europe, yeah, France and Italy and places that are very hot. Yeah, and your standard like start line models um, don't come with that at all, unless you paid for it as like, an, as like an additional upgrade. Trend line, I think they do come with it. So we were either looking for a trend line or a high line. Now ideally a high line, because they come with like the entertainment system, which has got Apple CarPlay and all that kind of stuff. Um, the buttons on the steering wheels Buttons on like. the steering wheels that we like. <laughs> Even LED lights and that, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so we've got the high line. So that's reason number five. We, we wanted to get the high line. Oh, well, we didn't, we wanted to get air con which resulted in getting a high line. Yeah. If that makes sense. So does that conclude the video? We might just throw in a bit more B-roll mm. of like Carla blowing, what are they called? Dandelions. <laughs> right, yeah, so hit the bell, like, subscribe, 
all those nice fancy things. And yeah, Please. we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Sure.